Hi right, again folks, in this video, the Eichel eye roll. Let's look at it, coming up. Might as well have a little fun with this one because facts are facts. And when you do stupid things, YouTube channels are gonna pick up on it, Jack, you know? And it's all over the place in social media right now, so I'm not doing anything wrong here. I'm just gonna point out what I've seen, but I'm gonna go a little step further with this, guys. There's something else I spotted that nobody's talking about when it comes to that scenario. Uh, I'm gonna give the shout out on this one to Black LJS. And Black, I was gonna actually make this video anyway, but you, you caught my eye with your note, so, and he goes, cue the Eichel eye rolls. <laughs> and I think you're right. I think, uh, and I think Black, you marked this note before he did it, if I'm right, or maybe I'm not, but I think you did when I looked at the date. Anyway, we're used to him doing this in Buffalo, right? We are. So, I'm gonna show you a few clips, okay? because this is important and this is going to maybe solidify what I've seen anyway, because I broke this down and I look at it. I've learned to study Jack Eichel, folks, when he was in Buffalo because I'm trying to pinpoint, why is this guy such a nuisance? Really, this is what I was trying to pinpoint when he was on the Sabres. I'm talking the last few years. I'm one of those Sabres fans, I can honestly say I wanted him gone about two years ago. So I'm gonna show you something here. Actually, I'll put these back on. And I'm going to show you some clips because this is going to make a little sense the way I seen it, the way I broke it down and I clipped it. So let's do some investigative work. Here we go. Here's the first clip. There we go. There's Columbo and we're getting ready to look. All right, folks, I'm going to keep, the, keep this up and we're going to do the clips. All right, here's the first clip. Now that's Eichel coming in. There you see the blocker, he's tapping the blocker. What I noticed right away, no eye contact with the goalie. None, zero. I watched that clip over and over. No eye contact with the goalie once he got there. Check the second clip, here we go. See, he just turned away. He didn't even look at the goalie. This is what I caught with the eye roll, guys. This is before he did the eye roll. So he went there, he doesn't look happy at all. None of them should be, but still, you know. And here's the eye roll, here we go. So he goes over there, he doesn't make eye contact with the goalie, and it ends like this. And last clip. The case is solved, folks. The case is solved. <laughs> For you kids that haven't seen Columbo, just so uh, we'll rant on that just for 10 seconds here. If you haven't seen the show Columbo, see it. I'm telling you, you kids will love it. The ones that are like in your 20s and you never heard of it, see the show Columbo, you'll love it. It was one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. One of them, probably the favorite show growing up as a kid. I had my favorite shows, Hogan's Heroes. There was some I really liked, but for when it comes to drama and mystery, and the, the, Columbo was phenomenal. I used to be so excited when it would come on, I remember. So, yes, Black LJS, what are we gonna do with this guy? This would be my question if I'm a Vegas Golden Knight fan. I mean, somebody, okay, somebody has to take this guy and either slap him or tell him, listen, stop it. You know, like, I, I would expect Stone to talk to him because that's gonna go all over social media. It's all over already. You know, it's all over. When I seen the replay, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, does this guy not understand he's in, he wanted to be in the spotlight, now he is. So they're gonna break down. This is what I love about him being in Vegas, guys. This is gonna be exposed way more than if he was in Buffalo, way more, way more. <laughs> so let's, as Sabres fans, we should be, appreciate that, is that he will be exposed more for what he is in Las Vegas than he would have ever been in Buffalo. Because Buffalo, people are going to say, ah, he was on a dumpster team. They don't know what they're doing. The fans that just troll will say these things. You know, you're not supposed to act like that no matter what team you're on. It doesn't matter if they're going through struggles. It doesn't matter. If Toronto was dead last in the league, which is more than capable of happening in the future, I would say right away, what, you know, like it's, they got to get rid of this guy. Like this would be what I'd be saying about Toronto if he was on the Leafs right now, you know? So 
It's the equivalent I find in the States of, of him being on either the Rangers or in Canada being on Toronto, him being in Vegas. It's a spotlighted team. They're going to be a team that everybody watches. All the little actions are going to be watching his interviews. I looked for an interview post game when they were out. I haven't seen one because I am absolutely guessing if I haven't seen, if there is one, please put a link so I can see. I want to see his, his, his post game interview. I want to see a season ending interview. I'm going to be laughing watching that because I know he's going to be arrogant. I, I just know he's going to have his head down. He's going to like turn his head away, not face the camera. He's going to do all that crap. We're going to see. We'll see it again. It's what he does every year. But what's his excuse now for what he was caught doing here? You can't, you can't hide that. Too many people know you did this now. And if I'm some of the veterans of this hockey club, I take, you got to take four guys and say, Jack, we need to speak with you, you know, and tell them. You know, you want to be a jerk, you don't do it in this franchise. Because this franchise was a healthy franchise not too long ago. Now it's a zoo in Vegas, right now. Doesn't mean they can't get out of it. Doesn't mean Vegas can't turn things around. But you got to nip this in the butt fast. You cannot let this spread onto the rest of the team and the guys upcoming on the team, guys you get in deals, all of a sudden they start being entitled. I guess is the word most Sabres fans use. It's true, entitled. He's going to entitle himself to act how he wants? Because why? Because he's a millionaire and makes 10 million bucks a year to do basically nothing down the stretch in a playoff run? If anything, he should be going to the camera saying, I, you know, I let this team down. That's what Jack should do. He should say, I let this team down. They put their trust in me. I'm going to have to train harder this summer. And that's it. That's all the fans want to hear in Vegas. You know, not him rolling his eyes at the goalie that just had his heart broken and the guy that kept you in the game because you're not producing. Or you can't score in the shootout, whatever it was. You can look at Eichel every way you can. There's 15 minutes of overtime hockey. Eichel couldn't score. And how many shootouts? He had three shootouts to score. He couldn't score again. He didn't score down the stretch. He did nothing. Any Sabres fan isn't surprised to this, Vegas fans. I'll tell you right now, we're not. We expected him to choke. Because that's what he does. You know, it is. Now, he's a hell of a good hockey player, but he's misguided. Okay, he's misguided in his own mind because he, he it's like in, in AA, okay, in Alcoholics Anonymous, he sponsors himself. You know, he doesn't reach out and tell somebody how he's feeling or what's going on. He just makes all, the, you know, he, he coaches himself. That's always what Jack Eichel's biggest problem has been, I believe. He coaches himself. And if he can't get out of that thinking and get into the team first mentality, he's never going to become what he should become, which is a great hockey player. It really is. He's supposed to be a great hockey player. He's a good hockey player, a great talent, but a good hockey player. And he holds himself back. I honestly believe that Jai Keichel holds himself back year after year because he focuses on self. And the problem is, if he's a buddy with a guy as self-centered as Robin Leonard, oh my God, what a mess. What a mess. You know, I, the Sabres, when the Sabres had Robin Leonard, folks, for these Vegas fans that might watch this, when we had Robin Leonard, we just wanted him gone for free. Really? This guy was useless, especially in shootouts. And then, you know, now, and then he, he wanted to stay in Buffalo, and then years later, he's chirping saying they did this to me and they did that to me. Come on, he's, you know what it is? His dented pride and ego is what happened to him. So don't get me started about Robin Leonard. <laughs> I know this, this is a Jack Eichel video. I'm talking about Jack and the mistake he made. Robin Leonard would take me an hour to explain what a head case, forget it. You know, this guy is just, he's all out there. He's all over the place. And you know, and I seen some Sabres fans as soon as two years ago, talking how we were stupid losing Robin Leonard, these fans don't have a clue. You want to have a guy in your dressing room like that, because why? Because another hockey channel says he's good? Give me a break, please. There's so many reasons why it's good Robin Leonard's gone. Jack Eichel wanted to be gone, so you don't want a guy like that on your team to start with. And we've seen the resurrection of our team. It happened before, long before, Tuck played his first game. We seen a different dimension when Tuck came in, but the, 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 the attitude shift happened long before Tuck. 
Just behind the scenes, Tuck said how friendly they were walking them. Everything changed, guys. Everything changed once a minute. We got these guys out of town. Got them out. Fresh start. Start again. Do it right this time. Plan it right. Sign the right guys. Anderson and Nets, for example. That was a smart signing this year. Good, smart one-year signing that helped the kids develop. It was, there's so many goods and, and not goods we can go over, but when you got somebody who is holier than thou, it's time to get him out of town. And if it happens in Vegas, it's up to the core now to sit this guy down, say, you know what? Stop it. Stop it. You're embarrassing this franchise. Stop it. Just my take, guys. I'll see you in the next video.